live, as you know, Timberline Lodge. I'm with one of the teams running today in Hood to Coast. 1,050 teams all together. Let's, uh, let's, let's turn around, gang, and show them who you are. Team Back Fat coming at you on a Friday morning. Yes, we're going to have more with... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have more with Team Backfat. Team Captain, this is Scott Dillon. Uh, Scott, this is your whole team. This is all 12. This is it. This is it. And uh, we originally uh, t took formation back in 2005. And we, uh, when we named a team, Team Backfat was only a visual goal. Now we've actualized it. You said that you have uh, won the division. What division is that? Well, we're uh, we are confident we're going to win the heavyweight division this year. Um, we are uh, four four time champs on the side of the hat. There, see, it says 2022 division champs. Oh wait, wait, it's over here. Yeah, yeah. So we are we're calling our shot right now. So we are under the start line this morning here at Timberline Lodge, and this will also be my finish line this morning. I'm going nowhere, but hanging here for the start. Next to me at 5.45ish on a Friday morning is Dan Floyd. Dan is the Chief Operating Officer. Huge title, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're Hood to Coast Relay. Uh, Dan, there's a lot to talk about. One of the things that I actually didn't believe this when I saw it yesterday, the first wave of runners, and we've got another wave getting ready to take off. Are you guys ready to run? Oh, yeah! The first wave of runners took off at 2.30 this morning, which is earlier than I remember. When did that start? It started last year. We have uh, smaller waves, 10 people in each wave, but it's fast paced and it just keeps going all night long. They were a little bit quieter at 2.30 at than they are right now, but the energy is starting to pick up. The other thing that I think a lot of reviewers don't realize, this has been around now for 40 years. 1982 was the first year of Hood to Coast, now obviously 2022. In that time, you've grown a lot, and there are now Hood to Coast races in other parts of the world. Like in other countries, where are the other races? Well, 1982, there are only 80 people. Now there are 20,000. Now there, now we have races in China, Taiwan, Israel. We had one in Europe a couple years ago and all throughout the United States. These people have spirit, and we want to take that throughout the world. So the, the race, the event in China is called Hood to Coast China? Hood to Coast China, Hood to Coast Taiwan, Hood to Coast Israel. Everything is Hood to Coast because of these people. They make it fun. You want to bring that same spirit anywhere you go. Do you think that people in China have any appreciation for the hood and the coast part of that name? They're putting tattoos all over their body that has all this stuff on them. There's the wave, so yeah, they appreciate it. And and we have 40 plus countries here every year, so it works and it goes all throughout the world. Yeah. If there's any great names here, sir, what's the name of your team? Uh, you can be serious. You can't. You can't be serious. What's the name of your team? Team Chaos. Team Chaos. What's the name of your team? Uh, Chafing the dream. That's the limit. Well, for starters, when we were driving up to Timberline Lodge this morning, we saw some of those early runners going down the mountain as we were coming up. You can see the mountain right over my head this morning. Look at the framework by photographer Eric Patterson. Talking hood to coast with Mount Hood just over my dome on a Friday morning. Uh, we are surrounded by another team that is ready to run on this Friday. It's a little chilly up on the mountain. Why don't we get real close? Yeah, Why don't we get here. real close together, gang? Uh, this is a team known as Team Cherubundi. Uh, Cherubundi headquartered here in Portland. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not familiar with Cherubundi, but you're holding it in your hand. What the heck is it? It's a tart cherry performance recovery beverage, really good for anti-inflammation. So we're gonna be out here, running as fast as we can, helping people keep going, recover a little bit faster. I don't mind you pitching the product on our air That's because I, I, I right? thought your story was interesting. The fact that you have runners coming from all over the country to be on this team to run this race. Real quickly as I go down the line, just tell me where you're from. Connecticut. LA. Los Angeles. I'm from, I'm from Portland. Yeah, okay. Connecticut. San Francisco. Portland. The guy from all over. We do have the one local guy from Portland. The one local getting ready to run Hood to Coast. Have you ever run this race before, my friend? I haven't. He's the only guy that's actually ran this, and uh, we're excited all to be here. Was it Ben? Yes. Yeah. So, Ben, you've got a bunch of first timers. You're a veteran of the Hood to Coast event. What's the uh, advice you give? Because I think the crazy part is not that you have to run throughout the course of the night, it's the fact you run a leg, then you rest, then you run, then you rest, then you run again. How do you prepare for something like that? There's no way to prepare, just do the best you can. Come back every 15 years and do it, because it takes about 15 <laughs> years to recover. 
that we have a team at KGW. It's team running footage, and here are five of the 12 members. Yes, yes, look at the excitement from the TV group. <laughs> uh, some of the faces may be familiar to our audience. We've got Evan Watson, investigative reporter on the team this year. Uh, Evan, you've only been at the station, I want to say, six months. That's about right. So who, who roped you into this Hood to Coast deal? You know, honestly, our general manager said, hey, we're, we're putting together a Hood to Coast team. I'm like, that sounds fun. Let's do it. And I got leg one. Whether that's lucky, don't running down a mountain or not, we'll figure it out. So the GM, the general manager of the yeah. station, talked to you directly about it? We had we have one of those staff meetings, and he said, hey, we're doing this. So I was like, all right, count me in. Say, I've been there for 16 years and I haven't had a conversation with the GM yet, but uh, have you run anything like this in the past? Be for those who aren't familiar, Hood the Coast involves a team of 12, each team member running three legs. We're starting obviously early on a Friday morning. It won't end until sometime tomorrow. Have you ever run in an event that's similar to this in any way, shape, or form? Nothing like this before. It kind of picked up running during the pandemic, and we're going we're gonna to try it out, see how it goes. How long are your three legs? Do you know off the top of your head? Uh, this one's five, and the other ones are about four, four, or five, something like that. So in total, about 15 miles. Uh, I'm going to turn it to Josh Shrek, who's been at our station for a long time. And I just want to point out, since this yes. is the month of August, yes. Josh is also in charge of our KGW school supply drive. Yeah. Let me hear you if you're excited about the school supply drive. Yes. Uh, which is going terrifically. In fact, we met our goal already with about five days remaining in the drive. That's right. How does the man that's in charge of the school supply drive have time to run hood to coast? You just got to put in the extra hours. You got to get up early, stay up late. Run practices and you'll be all set ready to go wishing you the best here today and again tomorrow good luck hey put it all in kgw on three one two three kgw